please take a moment to thank Sumo Nottingham for making this game come alive along with the influence of Gun Interactive for being fantastic partners. Now, if you haven't heard, Sumo Nottingham got fired. Um, they're no longer working on the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Now, don't worry, this will not affect content production or the game's longevity as confirmed by Gun themselves. Now, however, I do have some good news or bad news. I, I don't know, it depends what's gonna happen. So next week, we're gonna get some more news on how the game's future will go. And we'll probably get also some more answers on the firing of Sumo. So um, yeah, a lot has happened in the last three days and um, I'll take my time to talk about it. So yeah, here we go. Now first I want to give a quick opinion about the DLC that just dropped two days ago. The weapon cosmetics, way too overpriced for something we can barely see. The cosmetics for Johnny is a fucking W. The Sissy Bryce skin could have been better, but it's something and it's free, so we can't really complain. The kills. Hitchhiker's my favorite. Cook is the worst because it's recycled from his other DLC kill. And Bubba's new kill is basically a improved Nicotero kill, but with audio issues. So yeah, that's it. Uh, I give this DLC drop of all this uh, content together a 6 out of 10. Also, the Nicotero Chainsaw and the skin itself are now universal. You can use any Bubba skin with the Nicotero Saw and you can use any default chainsaw with the Nicotero skin. But unfortunately, these are audio, also audio bugged. And if you want to know, um, if you have Nicotero, you just hear the Nicotero Chainsaw noise. It doesn't matter which chainsaw you use. And for Bubba, it's reverse where you just use or hear the default noise, even if you're using the Nicotero Chainsaw. And also, if you're breaking doors with the Nicotero Saw, um, it still makes a default audio, so yeah. Does that bo really bother me? No, but this there was like fi fixed to go and now it's broken again, so um, that's kind of a huge skill issue and a huge L, but whatever. Alright, now on to what I wanted to discuss with you. So now let's discuss upcoming content that's 100% coming in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre and that may be discussed again next week by Gun. So. I think since the release of Danny, people have been noticing that if he's the one to die in the intro cutscene by Bubba, um, he sometimes wears a uniform that is not available yet. So we know there's Danny cosmetics coming, but they're the same poor quality as the other um, victim skins we got with um, one unique clothing with um, some stupid recolors. I hope this is the last time we see this, because um, I heard that we got a cosmetic team that worked on Spider-Man 2 that's not working on this game. I hope they're stepping up, because um, th this shit is not worth five fucking dollars at all. I've seen way better concept art made by people on the subreddit of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Congratulations for everyone who makes these concept arts, because as far I've seen them all, almost, and they look very phenomenal and they fit very well with games, so you have my applause for that one. Now, let's talk about something huge. Barbara, aka Virginia, is the new victim. So, no disrespect to Miss Crampton. I've never heard of her, but um, I've heard the um, interview she's done. And um, honestly, she looks like a very awesome addition to the game. I really congratulate her for being able to voice act the new survivor, which is called Virginia. Her lore is she's searching for her son named Jesse, and her ability is leaked to be that she can, I don't know, do something with grandpa. I don't know what, but um, it's something unique, I'll give it that, because the only thing you can do with grandpa is just stab his nipples non-stop, and that's all. So I'm really interested to see what they're gonna do with grandpa, because sometimes it, it does feel like they're um, forgetting the old man that he exists in his own game. Now, when it comes to the new family member, uh, I've only heard audio. It doesn't sound like he speaks, but he sounds like a worse brute than Johnny with a deeper voice. And uh, I think I've read somewhere that his ability has something to do with... Um, something with the victims, as in bashing them or something. I don't think it's like similar to Leland's thing, but... I'm not gonna spread misinformation, this is something I've heard, so um, yes, d take this with a grain of salt, please. So I don't really think next week is gun yapping about the upcoming DLC already that we have, so Virginia, the new family member, and the new map, which really looks awesome by the way, I'll give him that. The concept art still looks epic to this day, but I kinda hope they're teasing some more content after that shit, cause 
if they're gonna leave us with no tease of new content after that, then people are gonna speculate even harder that Gun is ready to drop the game. And if you've watched my channel before, I actually dropped a video recently with unreleased kill packs or kills and executions. So there's still a lot of content to come within this 90 day thing. Now it's not 90 days anymore, but still, and there's so much unreleased executions, this clearly cannot be the end. Anyway, that's enough yapping for me today. So yeah, goodbye Simo, uh, welcome whoever's the new developer team of GUN for the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Um, this has been a very interesting week and um, I'm excited what they're gonna tell us next week. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please drop a like and subscribe for, so this video can reach out to more people if they're interested into this kind of content. And I'll see you guys next time. Have an awesome weekend and stay safe, boys. Have a good one.